What's up guys, LB Effect here and this is a top 15 vans in my collection video. I really wanted to do a top 10 but it was too hard to narrow it down to just 10 of them so I did the next best thing and now I got a top 15. So I'm going to start off here with uh, Vans times Supreme times New Order, Power Corruption and Lies Eras. This comes in at top 15 because my girlfriend really went through a lot to pick these up for me for my birthday. It means the world that she did that. I mean, the prices that these are going for is just ridiculous, so definitely wasn't expecting that. I waited in line to pick these up when they released, and I didn't even come close to grabbing my size, so really happy that I actually got these. Coming in at number 14, we got the Engineer Garments times Vans Vault Originals Authentics. Couldn't have asked for a better colorway. I've always wanted a pair of olive vans and an authentic model. It's just the best combination. Just a super simple looking shoe. That quad stitching, I have to have that. The very subtle vans tag on the side. And for the price I got these for, definitely a dope shoe. Number 14. At number 13, we got the Double Taps Times Vans Vault Originals Slip-On in that blue colorway. This is the shoe that pretty much got me turned on to slip-ons. I was never really a fan of them until this came out. I couldn't have designed a better colorway myself, honestly. This is pretty much everything that I would want in a slip-on. All suede upper, blue mixture colorway. Love how they flip that tag on the side, so you got the double taps on the outside and the vans on the inside. It's a nice touch, it's something a little bit different. Got that shortened toe bumper, being from the Originals line. Very comfortable shoe, Ortholite insole. Wear these all the time. Double taps at number 13. Coming in at number 12, we got the Van Syndicate times Luke Meyer Zero Low in the black and white colorway. This is my latest pickup. I've really been vibing on these. I've been wearing them a lot lately. It's a very comfortable shoe. It's a shoe that I've wanted for quite a while. Older Syndicate release. Of course, that all suede upper. Black and white colorway. Pretty much rock these every single day with anything. Very comfortable shoe. And you know, it's got a little bit of flair on it with all those patches, so it's a little bit different. Still turn some heads with these, even though they are a very simple color. Easy choice for top 15. Coming in at number 11, we got the Van Syndicate times Carhartt Work in Progress Old School in that camo colorway. Don't really have to say much about these. Obviously these are a winner, just all the colors, all the details on this shoe. This is probably the shoe that got me turned on to old schools. Didn't think I could rock them until I bought these. Just such a sick shoe, details in and out. And then of course that corduroy on the tongue, one of my favorite materials. Right underneath suede. Really like to see that on a pair of vans. Carhartt work in progress at number 11. At number 10, we got the Ray Barbie times Vans Vault 87 reissue era. This era dropped in that pack celebrating Ray Barbie's 20 years at Vans. Definitely the best model in the pack as well as the best colorway. It's a nice deep forest green color, really awesome color, don't really see too many vans in this color. Got an all suede upper, it's got that blue throwback tag on the side, got those white premium laces, Ray Barbie 20 years embossed on the tongue here, 89 to 09. Definitely worn these a bit. This is one of my everyday shoes. You can tell the toe boxes are pretty pretty stained here. I don't know what's going on with them. 
Definitely wear these a lot though. Midsoles are pretty dirty as well. Just such a great shoe though. Ray Barbies at number 10. Time we got the Vans Time Supreme Corduroy and Checkerboard Authentic and the Ice Blue Colorway. This is probably one of my favorite collabs between Vans and Supreme to this date. Really wasn't psyched about these when I first saw the promo pics, but once I saw these in person, I had to have them. As I mentioned, that corduroy material is probably one of my favorite Vans materials. It's a very flexible material. It's very soft. It's definitely comfortable to wear. I also really love the tongues on these. For some reason, they're very long. Definitely longer than your normal pair of Authentics. And I think it gives them a nice touch. You also have that flat outsole that we've been seeing for the Supreme releases. Really like that. It's an easy winner in my book. At number eight, we got the Vans California Birds Pack Authentic in the blue colorway. This is another shoe that I wasn't really psyched about when I first saw the promo pics, but once I saw that these actually had like a washed upper, I really wanted these. As I mentioned, blue, that's my color for Vans. An authentic, of course, and it's a very comfortable shoe with the ortholite. These fit a little bit bigger than normal, so I think that's why I thought these were so comfortable. But this colorway just goes with anything. I wear these all the time, as you can tell they're pretty beat. And I really like these like off-white wax laces or whatever these were. Very nice looking shoe. At number seven, this is the Vans Vault 40th Anniversary Vanasaurus Print 45 LX. This is one of my grails. I've been after this shoe ever since I started collecting Vans. This shoe is extremely hard to find, especially in the larger sizes. Really like to give a shout out to all the people on my forum and to my girlfriend for making these happen. The price I picked these up for was just ridiculous. And with box in this condition, couldn't be happier with these. Got that flat blue outsole. Of course, that retro print. Very 80s looking with the orange and that bright blue together. Love that color combination. Got those premium white laces on there. The very nice white leather lining. This is just a dope shoe overall. Really wish these were in my size. These are in 11. Still looking for that 12 or 11 and a half to trade with. But this is an easy choice for my top 10. At number 6, we got those vintage Navy Authentics from around 92 or 93. I'm not exactly sure, but definitely somewhere around the early 90s. Just a classic shoe right here. This is what the Dogtown Boys wore, the Navy Authentics. It's got all those little touches of the Made in the USA on the heel tab. On the insole, got the stamping on the side. Definitely a collector's item right here. Even the discoloration on one of the shoes, the fact that they're different, the one on the left being darker, I think it adds a little bit to it, makes them a little more unique. That quad stitching, you know I like that. Even the fit on these shoes is a little bit different. These actually have some arch support, unlike your modern day Authentic, which is a little bit flat. Finally down to the top five. At number five, we got the Vans Vault Times Takahayashi Derby Suede in the black colorway. This is definitely a different shoe. Something a little bit classier with that crepe outsole. This is my go-to shoe for whenever I'm going out to a fancy occasion. The suede on this shoe is incredible. Probably the best suede that I've ever felt on a shoe. It's probably more of like an oiled suede, but it's definitely very nice. The shoe is very comfortable. 
These do fit a little bit big, so you got a lot of room in that toe box. It's got those nice perforations on the toe box in that triangle pattern. Just the nice details, that Taka insult sewn in there. Very dope shoe. Definitely a quality shoe. All of these top five sneakers I have at some point had doubles of. This one I still do have a double of, just in case. At number four, this is the Vans Vault Originals Palm Leaf Era. This is from the first release from the Originals line. Definitely a slept on shoe. These have been pretty popular lately though. A lot of people trying to get their hands on these. Just a great shoe to wear every day. Can definitely wear these with anything. Love that blue Vans tag on the side. Those pewter palm leaves all throughout. Very dope shoe. This is from the Originals pack, so it does have that shorter toe bumper, which I didn't think I would like at first, but I think it adds to it. It's also kind of got that pointy toe box a little bit. Very dope shoe. At number three, we got the Van Syndicate Times Mr. Cartoon Authentics in that navy colorway. This is one of the first releases to drop from the Syndicate line back in 2005. Such a dope shoe. This is definitely bringing back memories with this one. I remember I picked these up back in 2005 when they first dropped. Got them in the black and the blue colorway. Picked them up from Utility Board Supply for like 70, 60, 70 bucks. These are going anywhere between 200 to 250 nowadays, so it's definitely been a jump. Very hard shoe to find. I picked these up back in the day, way before I knew there was any collector side of Vans. There probably wasn't really much at that time, but this was definitely the beginning of a new era with the syndicates. Unfortunately, I thrashed those first two pairs I had. My girlfriend actually picked these up for me as a birthday present. Couldn't be happier that she found these in my size. Such a dope shoe. The black colorway is probably my favorite colorway in this pack, but the blue one seems to be the pair that pops up the most. Still love this colorway though. Definitely an awesome shoe. At number two, we got the Van Syndicate times Jason Dill Snakeskin Authentic Pro in that metallic colorway. I have nothing but good things to say about this shoe. This is just an awesome shoe as far as quality, materials, fit. Everything about this shoe is just amazing. I remember how bummed I was when those information chuckas came out, those chuckalos, the snakeskin ones, and how bummed I was that they had that printed on snakeskin pattern. It wasn't even textured. These were announced shortly after those. I was kind of bummed because I thought these would be the same, but once these came out, and I actually realized these were textured, I was all over these. Feels exactly like a snake. It's got that awesome color. The canvas lining, the padding on the tongue and the collars. The dope graphic on the insole, that translucent outsole. Everything about this shoe is amazing. Easily number two. And last but not least, the number one shoe in my collection, my favorite shoe, my Rick Griffin E Streets. This is the shoe that started it all for me. This is the shoe that got me into collecting Vans. 
one of the craziest shoes I have in my collection. All the details on this shoe, that dope wave graphic, the Rick Griffin patch on the tongue, the very nice suede lining, all the little Rick Griffin details. I was looking for this shoe for so long before I finally found these in my size on eBay. I kept coming across shops that had like size 8, size 9, size 13. Finally found these in my size. I was so happy to get these. Only bummed I didn't get another pair in this size. This is my favorite shoe of all time. Well, I hope you guys like this video. Comment, subscribe, like if you like. And check back for more videos.